What's up guys, Pirani here. Do you want to know how to make a character jump? In this video, I will show you 5 easy steps to make this character jump. If you want to know how to make a character move, I already did a video. So please check in the description below. I, left, I will leave a link. And just check it out and let's begin. For our first step, we need to open the player controller script. That's, I have it open here. And here I pasted all the steps. We need to follow during this video. But first, we have to create a variable. So we need a public float jump force. I'll call it jump force and a bool to check if our, char our character is jumping or not. Is jumping. Perfect. So let's delete it from here because step one is done. Okay, for our step number two, we need to create a jump method and call inside the OK date. Perfect. So let's go back down here. Let's create our jump method, void jump. What we need inside the jump method? We need to get the key, the input from the keyboard. So we need to add a condition if input dot get key down. Uh, I'll use a space key code. So for this tutorial, I'm going to use a space jump. And if our character is not is not jumping, so is jumping equals false. So that that sign here means that um, this is false. You know, if this is jumping is false, we will do something. So what we're gonna do first is jump equals true because now he is jumping, and add the force to our body. So rb dot add force new vector two vector 2 and x axis we need we're going to leave the way it is so rb the velocity dot x and in the y axis we add the jump force jump force perfect and then now here we go to fix up date i'm going to okay sorry i forgot one thing here inside the fix up date i'll call the jump method so jump perfect save the script and go back on top here and step two is done let's delete it from delete it from here perfect for our step number three create a collision method perfect. okay let's go back down here so create a void on collision enter let's call a collision collision to the I'll call it other. So what this method does is detect collision between our player, our box collider, with another box collider. So we want him to detect the collision between the player and the ground. So we're gonna if other. This other is the other object we're gonna collide with. So in our case, we want to the ground. So other dot game object dot compare tag ground. Let's put capital here, ground. I'll explain about the tags later. So, but I forgot to put another one here. So if auto.gameObject.compare tag ground. So if the tag of the other object we're colliding with is ground, do something. So we're going to set that he's jumping to false because he won't be jumping anymore. He's jumping to false. And one thing else, uh, RB, the velocity equals vector 2.0. I'll explain why I'm using this. Zero. Perfect. So now here we go top here and step 3 create on collision method. Oh jeez. Create on collision method. Done. So step 3 is done. For our step number 4 create and add tags. Okay, let's go back to Unity. We have our ground here. Both grounds. So for the tags, you see here tag and tag. So we come here, add tag, click on the plus icon, ground, save it. So if we go back here now, we have the tag ground. So we set the tag ground in both. Perfect. So now our, our step four is done. For the number five, add values and test. Okay. Easy. Simple. Let's go back to player. I'll add 350. This is the value I tested before. And let's test. 
our character is moving left to right. Let's test the jump. Oh, perfect. So now our character is happy and jumping everywhere. So let's recap everything, what we did during this video. In the middle of the video, I said I was going to explain why I added this line of code, RB dot velocity equals vector 2 dot 0. And it's very simple, because when our character is jumping, uh, you can see here, at the top here, the y-axis, he, when he's falling, he's getting a negative force. So when he touched the ground, if we don't set this to zero, you will have at the moment a negative. You will have like a few seconds until that, that force becomes zero again and we can apply the 350 again. So that way we're making sure that when he touched the ground, his force will be zero and we apply the 350 again. Otherwise, he, when it's negative and we apply the 350, he's not going to get the 350 force. So his jump probably will be lower. So we will have problem with, with jumps. Especially, and I want to make another tutorial making a double jump. So you will see if we don't add this line of code, he can't do double jump. He will just float on the air. So that way we're making sure every jump will be the same height. So the, the, we will apply the 350. Okay. And now let's just recap everything. Um, for number one, create, we have the five steps. Number one, create variables. So public float jump force to get the, the, the force, I to set the force for our jump. Police jumping to detect if the character is jumping or not. Second step, create jump method and call inside of the date. And here we have the jump method getting the key from our, the key from our uh, keyboard. Uh, we choose space for this video. And if the character does not jump, if he's not, if you, uh, both conditions are right, so we set this jump into true, means he's, he's, on the, he's jumping now, our character. We add the force to our body, and the I -ax, Y axis, we add the jump force. And call inside fix up date. Remember, fix up date is to, it's better to work with rigid bodies. That's why I deleted the update here, we don't need it at the moment. And then step three, create on collision method. Here at the bottom we have on collision enter 2D. So when we have this collision between our player and something else. In this case, I want to get compare a tag with the other object. If the tag of the other object is ground, means he's not jumping anymore, and we set the velocity to zero. The RB the velocity to zero. Perfect. And now for the fourth method, step number four, we create and add tags. We come back to Unity. So we have here. The tags, I showed how to create a tag, add tag, this plus icon, and we created a tag ground, add to both uh, grounds here. And step five, we add the values and tests. We added 350 here at the bottom, and we just test, test it. Okay, guys, that's it for this video. Do you find it easy? If you find it easy or hard, just please leave a comment below saying what you think about this video this tutorial if you learn anything and I want to bring more uh, tutorials like this the next one I'm planning to do is about animation because if you look at him he looks kind of sad he, he jumps and walks but he's not animated so please leave a like and share and subscribe because I'll bring more videos okay so stay awesome guys and thank you